All right, so I got another subscriber question I wanted to take a, take a shot at answering. And this one is really about, hey, you know, I live in an expensive part of the country. Um, you know, I did what you talk about, Michael, and that I tried to look for markets a couple hours from my house and see if it makes sense. But it's, it's just not going to happen for me. So I got to invest out of state. I think there's also probably a natural bias to, hey, I want to go buy some and expensive homes, right? Intrigued by the $50,000 house, $75,000 house, and I get it. So um, I spent some time last night, spent some time this morning, and I created my top five list, right? The top five things that I would consider when doing you know, out-of-state investing. Now, again, as I was very clear in my book, I've actually never purchased out-of-state for a rental. I, I do own a property in Arizona and in New York, but they're you know, they weren't intentionally bought as rentals. They were purchased for family members. And that, that's a whole different story. So uh, here are my top five. The first one is, and I've said this a couple of times on different interviews with people that are interested in out-of-state investing is, you gotta go see the area, right? You, you've, nothing frustrates me more than when I talk to investors and say, hey, I wanna buy in city X. And then I ask them, you know, when are you going to see City X or how many times you've been to City X? And the answer is never and never plan to go there. Um, there's so much wrong with that statement that it really, really frustrates me. If you're going to be committing thousands of dollars and potentially owning something for decades, go see the area, right? The la oh, because if you don't, you're going to be put at risk. You're going to be risking your hardened capital on someone else's opinion and I can tell you that there's not everybody in this business is not great or even good there's a lot of people out there that are looking to steal your money and steal may be the wrong word but take advantage of you right if you're going out to a market and you see fifty thousand dollar houses or you, and you never go there and somebody sells you a fifty thousand dollar house for sixty thousand dollars whose fault is that really I'm gonna blame you right we could we could always blame the seller and all of that stuff but in the end you never went to the market you never saw anything so so step number one is if you're gonna go invest in City X please do yourself a favor and go see City X I have a goal as you've seen in my 2019 goals to go check out some other markets and that means getting my butt on an airplane even though I hate to fly uh, so I'm gonna go do that the next one is always 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 remember that price is what you pay but value is what you get. What I mean by that is there are so many people focused on these cities in the center of the US, but they're focused on price. Who cares if a duplex costs 58 grand or 78 grand? Who cares if a quad costs 125? Price is almost inconsequential. You've got to figure out the value. That's why I talk about doing your homework, right? I would rather buy a $400,000 fourplex that's worth 600 than buy a $150,000 fourplex worth 150, right? You gotta be thinking value, and you can't get value unless you do your homework, okay? So you've gotta do some work, and that's something I'm really starting to build out and sketch into my outline for this program I'm putting together, but price is what you pay, value is what you get, is number two. Next one is, if you're coming from a high-priced area like I am, maybe like New York or maybe Miami or, or something like that, Orange County, you've got to turn off your brain, right? You've been biased to think houses cost X, and that X is usually hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. In truth be told, for most of the U.S., prices aren't like that. I have known many California investors who have gone to City X, felt like they were getting a steal, only to realize that they paid 25% too much. Now, again, right, with these price points, the 25% too, not too much is maybe 10 grand. But still, paying too much is paying too much. We have to turn off our brain. You have to do your homework. You have to learn the market. Don't get taken advantage of. If they take advantage of you, it's your fault. You're not doing your homework. Uh, the next one is focus on the area for rentals, right? I see too many people who look to do turnkey investments that are looking at purchase price, purchase price, purchase price. Purchasing a property in another city, again, just saying City X, that's a one-day event. That is a day you remember once. But you're going to ideally own this rental for years, if not decades. 
So spend more time learning the rental market. Interview property managers, figure out what rental rates are, figure out what turn is, figure out when the last rent increase went in, figure out you know, how you can really go about keeping a tenant happy, right? If you're only looking at purchase price and you're so enamored at $60,000 and you never ask about rentals, you are going to hate being a landlord because b being a landlord when you're not doing your homework is rough business. You're gonna be owning this thing for decades. You're gonna have dozens of tenants perhaps. So go interview not only about purchasing a property, but go interview property managers. Go figure it out, do your homework. Make sure you're set up for long-term success. And the last one is because you're buying out of state, I want you to be thinking decades, not years, right? If you're gonna be in this business for one or two or three years in the city not where you don't live, I would suggest not even bothering. Um, what you're gonna see is appreciation and all those other things in those markets aren't great. So the transaction costs and all of that for being in a market for two or three years, you're not gonna get your money back. So if you're not willing to commit to that market or that city for more than a decade, don't even bother getting on an airplane. Figure something else out. So, and again, my top five for investing out of state are, if you're not willing to go see it, don't bother. Price is what you pay, value is what you get. Turn off your high priced uh, bias of, of what properties cost. Focus on the rental market, learn what that is. And think, hold for a decade, not years. All right, hope that helps. Uh, have a great day.